Alright guys, welcome back to Funky Fishing. We're out here I'm using a bobber and some bread and a rod with a 1-0 circle hook catching some carp. Let's see how we do. We got here it's a little 1-0 circle hook and all we're going to do here is add some of this delicious potato bread, hamburger bun, and we're going to mush it all covering the hook, and we're going to get it kind of like Play-Doh. You want to do it so hard that it turns almost like the feeling of Play-Doh. The idea is that you don't want water to get in there, and the more water that gets in there, the sooner this is going to fall off the hook, and uh, cameraman, camera lady, please point at the... Uh, this is where we're going to be fishing and it's very shallow so that's why I'm going to be using a bobber. There we go. Bobber. Bread. Now that we got it on the bobber right there, we just wait for a carp. Hopefully to come by and grab it. And we'll just see that bob up and down a bit. So we just got to set the hook and bring him in. Happening. They're playing with our bait, bro. They're playing with it. All right, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Put it in. Put. No. Nope. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it, dude. Should I breathe? No, no, no. Just... Yeah, let's reposition. There you go. That's it. We're fishing. You don't need more than that. We're fishing. You don't need more than that. Nope. And we have. Anybody who fishes with more than that is just wasting. Wasting line, wasting time. Is it? That's it. We're done. We're fishing now. So as you can see guys, uh, funky fisherman Dave showed up and he didn't bring his rod, but he saw that we were getting taps with the carp, so he he was getting uh, anxious to get one. So he started to look around for twigs, twigs, not even large sticks, just twigs, little branches that fall off the trees. And he hooked a line to it with a, a hook and boom, we started getting fish. <laughs> Never would have thought. I mean, obviously it should work in theory, but that was really cool to see. We got a fish. We got a baby carp. Look at this. Elul put a piece of stick with a string on it <laughs> and just put it under this rock, put it in here with a piece of bread and got us a beautiful carp. Look at this beautiful guy. Little itty bitty guy. <laughs> you saw Elul set it up. Oh my gosh. Oh! All right, take, that's so crazy. <laughs> Guys, he broke it even, but it was still holding on. Look at that. This is all we were using. A piece of stick attached to a hook and a piece of bread. That's it. All right guys, so I rebreaded. This is the technique, stick line bread and we bring it right here to this bridge this is by the way funky fisherman dave's invention and we just put it right here how'd you put it under i put it in the tree in a wedge so that it would have some string to it can you uh here i'll show you yeah set it up the way you had it so i actually put it i actually put it like this Okay. And they're like, like, so it was kind of... And he of, broke it probably. No, no, no. Oh, no. It was like, like this. So he could pull. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. What was it? A carp? Yeah. It was a little, little the carp. littlest carp of my life. So we caught with a twig that cost us nothing. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch with this contraption that we've invented over the years. Maybe it's not even necessary. Alright, what's going on here guys? Something's going on with this rod. Something's going on with this rod. And of course everyone, if you're enjoying this carpy video, catching carp on twigs, make sure to like, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel, and keep up to date with all future content. We'll be in the Florida Keys soon, so stay tuned.
Another one on the stick. Look at this guy. We got Armani bringing it up. <laughs> Look at this contraption that we set up. Oh, perfect hook set too. Perfect hook set. Yeah. Come on, buy it. You got it. Hold on, wait. Watch the hook. Yeah. Nice. Good job, man. Push hands going. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's put him back. Did I just toss him? Yeah, yeah just toss him head first. Woo. We set it up on this stick right here. Yeah, it was just twitching like this. Putting it right in there, right in here. Caught oh, that car. I think they do like the Italian. We are old school here, guys. We're using twigs, we're catching fish. So far, twigs, two fish. My rod, no fish. Let's see what else we could get just chilling on a bridge with a bunch of twigs. All right. And as the day went on, a buddy of mine, Andrew, showed up and he showed us how it was done. He went with a lighter leader and a different type of bread and he brought in the biggest carp of the day, as you're about to see. Fish on. Ooh, pulling some drag. Pulling some drag. Here we go, here we go. We got a fish! Here we have it, guys. A beautiful, nice size, especially for right over here. Wow, look at that guy. Beauty. All right, and all it took was a light leader, a hook, and some bread. Right from this pond, guys. We had that little itty bitty small guy on the twig. And, um, you know, the more professional stick, we landed this nice guy. So we're going to get him back over here and hope for another. All right, take care, Mr. Carp. Woo Sweet. <laughs> nice. Well, what do you know, guys? Always a good idea to come out, especially this uh, very early, early spring, late, late, late winter. Because now the fresh water is uh, starting to heat up a bit. We've got a lot of carp today, and I'm just so glad that we got it using twigs literally using sticks and twigs and line and hook <laughs> and we caught two carp doing that and then our buddy andrew showed up he uh he helped me out with uh choosing the right spot to fish for these carp and he landed the biggest out of us all sometimes it does help if you're a local of the spot all right guys soon salt water is going to be happening and we're going to be out there hopefully even with andrew a couple of times this season you know he, he's he knows a couple of good spots so until next time, guys, stay groovy.